Well, in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, we have an annual precipitation of about 25 inches of moisture. That includes our snowfall, uh, rainfall, and so on. On the northwest side here, it's probably a little bit lower. Uh, normal rainfall in May is a little over three inches. In June, it's about four inches. And in July and August, about three inches each. So that covers the main growing season. We do not have the water supply and the ability to irrigate, so we're dependent upon natural moisture. And so what we need to do is make or maximize the use of the moisture that we do receive. And so our attempt at water conservation and so on is in that direction. A typical corn crop will use over an inch of moisture a week in July and August. And so that would be about eight inches of moisture and we only receive six inches on the average. So that generally results in a moisture deficit. And because of that, we need to do what we can about conserving the early spring moistures where we have an excess and try and reduce the evaporation from the soil surface so that we can conserve it for times when we have that deficiency. There are certainly people that will disagree with me, but I think drainage tile is a part of water management. We need to be careful about where we dump that water and what we're doing with that water and the nutrients that that water may, may contain. But there are spots in my field that were traditionally wet when I was tilling that have now dried up because I'm getting better water absorption at the top of the hill and it's not running to the bottom of the hill and creating a wet area. I'm in a no-till operation, so it's important that all the water that we receive be absorbed rather than run off. And I feel it's important to stop the erosion at the top of the hill rather than to worry about dealing with it at the bottom. And if we can get it to go into the ground and be absorbed, uh, then we don't have the problem of it running off. And if it soaks in, then we can conserve that moisture. Without tillage, I feel that we save a half an inch to one inch of moisture from each tillage practice that we've eliminated. And so by eliminating tillage practices, we can save perhaps an inch, maybe as much as two inches of moisture a year. In addition to that, my no-till practices have resulted in an increase in organic matter on my farm from 2.5% to 4.5% over the last 28 years. Increasing that organic matter by 2%, it's estimated will hold an additional uh, one inch to two inches of moisture. And so if I can conserve an additional one to two inches of moisture, through my increase in organic matter, then I can make some real differences with respect to my cropping operation.